So I did one eye off camera and then I'm going to show you guys how I did this eye on this eye. I'm going to take a piece of tape first because this always helps me just to get a cleaner line. And then I'm going to put that on the corner of my eye if I can get it on. Then I'm going to start out by prepping my lids with this um, paint pot and laying low from MAC. If you don't have like an eyeshadow primer or like a prep, I recommend you getting one because it does help a lot. It just makes your eyeshadow look a lot brighter and it helps it stay all night. Then I just work it in with my finger. This is so weird talking on this video because I always do voiceovers, but we got no we got no time for voiceover today. Things to be done, so. Shut up! I'm filming. Boom. And after that, you always want to like set your eyeshadow with any your eyeshadow primer with like any type of powder base. So I'm just using this Rimmel powder, and it's translucent. And then I'm gonna set. With that. So for the eyeshadow today, I am going to use the Morphe 350 palette, and I think this is a 350 matte palette. Taking this big fluffy brush, this one is from Wet n Wild, I think, but it's bomb. And I'm going to start with this color right here. So the second eyeshadow I used was this one. So we started with this one right here, and then we go in with that one next in your crease. Next we're gonna go in with this color down here. I'm just gonna go back in with a, a clean blending brush and just So after that shadow, we are going to take this one, which is next to it, and we're going to build that up in the corner. So pack it on first. And then after that I take the opposite side of this brush, and then just start blending. And go back in. You can use the same um, fluffy brush that you've been using, and just blend the, blend the shadows together. And then after that, we're going to go in with the last shadow, which is this here. Actually, did I use that? No. We have two more shadows. <laughs> we're going to go in with this color right here. I love like doing makeup because it's so fun. Anyone that says makeup isn't an art, you put yourself. Because it is. Now we'll take that blending brush again and start blending out a bit. We're gonna go in with this. This is the last eyeshadow color. This one. I'm using this brush. It's kind of angled. I've had it for a while. I don't know where it's from, but I like it. So. So I like to look down for this. I'm gonna go back in with the the um paint pot that I used earlier, and kind of. We're not gonna do really a cut crease, but it's just gonna like clean up the eyelid so that when I put on the shadow it's like a base for it so that it is a little bit bolder. So after we put that down I'm going to go in with my Naked palette, the Naked Smoky, and we're going to use um, Dirty Sweet, right? Yeah, Dirty Sweet which is the second color and we're just going to press this on first and then see I only take it up to like here and then I leave all that with the darker eyeshadow. We're going to use this um, Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art and it looks like this and it's got a green on this side and it's got glitter on this side. So we're going to use the gold on this side and we're going to put that on the lid. If you guys aren't following our Twitter, follow our Twitter account. It's at SCF Sister App. We don't really, we, we do have an Instagram. Yeah, follow our Instagram too. SCF Sister App. Everything is SCF Sister App. So follow us on our social medias. Now I'm going to go back in with this pencil brush that I just used. And um, 
this same dark color from the Morphe 350 palette and we're gonna blend that glitter into the darker color and end so it's just not like glitter and then brown. And then I'm going back in with the color that I started with, that light color, and mixing it with the second color and going back in and putting that in the crease area as well. I love glitter, I just love makeup. <laughs> So for liner, I'm going to use the Kat Von D, and it's the ink liner, and this is like a, the best eyeliner ever. I'm back, and I have my lashes on now. I can do that off camera, because your girl cannot do her lashes on camera. Well, I can sometimes, but it's just really hard. It's tricky. Can you close? Okay. Focus. <laughs> okay, so now for um my face. Yeah. This. Let's cover this up. So for a primer, I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'm going to put that and my like problem areas which are my t-zone i just realized i only did one brow so after i put this on i'm gonna do my brow <laughs> with an angle brush i'm using two angle brushes whatever angle brush you have is fine and then i am using the um bh studio pro palette ultimate brow palette since my skin is so like rough right now, I'm gonna do a little bit of like color correction because I need to. Yo, girl is looking rough. I'm just gonna put these on like the darker spots that I have. For foundation, I use the Maybelline Matte Foundation, and then underneath my eyes to make it a little bit brighter, I put a little bit of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro 24 Hour Foundation. I do, especially if it's like um something extreme like this, I do like really full coverage foundation. So if you don't like wearing this much makeup, that's fine. You don't have to wear this much makeup, but yeah, you just do what you want to do. You don't have to say mean things either because everyone has their way of doing things, right? I'm going to take my Naked Skin Concealer. I love this concealer. Under my eyes. And then I do like to clean up my liner when I do this too as well. <laughs> okay. Then we're going to blend that out. Sacha setting powder in Buttercup. And then I'm going to put that underneath my arms. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I have stuff on my face. I already took like 10 screenshots. Ooh, I like that makeup. Up to my face makeup because people keep interrupting. I just dusted off that bake that was on my face. And then now I'm going in and contouring with my Kat Von D shade and light palette. And I'm taking this bigger brush and then blending out. For bronzer, I'm gonna use this BH Cosmetics Forever Nude Palette. We're gonna go back to the eyes really quickly because we need something on the bottom. They look a little bit too plain for me right now. So we're going back to the Morphe 350 palette. <laughs> I'm gonna take that, um, these two colors Actually, I'm going to take, yeah, this one on the corner and this one and mix it together and run it on my lash line. And then I'll put some mascara on after that. So now that we have that done, we'll put some mascara on and then I'm going to put some eyeliner on the bottom there too. And this is the Voluminous, I don't know what it is. I think it's, um, it's L'Oreal. This one it is, okay? <laughs> And why do bad things always happen to good people? For blush today, we are gonna use this palette and it's from BH Cosmetics. It's the Professional Blush Palette. Blush. And I'm gonna use, let's see, let's see what my eyes look like today. All right, we're gonna use this color, the second one from the bottom row. 
So for um, highlighter today, because you know we cannot skip highlighter, we're gonna use the Urban Decay Naked Illuminant Illuminated Trio Palette, and then I'm gonna use the Carly Bible, my Holy Grail. I love this palette so much for highlighter. And then we are gonna put that on the cheeks. So I'm gonna start with the Carly Carly palette first. I'm just taking this on like a little brush, and I'm gonna put that. For lips, I'm gonna give you guys two options that you can do. So first option is gonna be um, a nude, and it's gonna be Abu Dhabi from NYX, and I'm gonna put that on first. And then over top of that, I'm gonna put um, Istanbul, mainly in the center. This gloss on here from MAC on top of that. So here's option one. So the second lip option is gonna be a red because that's my favorite. And I like to do, whenever I do a red lip, I like to do like an ombre red lip. So first, I'm going to line my lips with Vino. And this is for MAC. I'm just gonna clean up around my lips with a little bit of foundation just so that it's a lot cleaner. So I'm gonna set my face with some finishing spray right now and this is Urban Decay and then And then this will complete the final look. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys enjoy it.